vertebral disc. Between two vertebral body, there lies an intervertebral disc. This basically comprises of three components. First one is cartilage in the plate, the central part, the nucleus pulposus, which is a gelatinous material, and enclosing the nucleus pulposus is the annulus fibrous. So here we can see annulus fibrosus. This is fibrocartilaginous tissue. And there are the ligaments anterior to the vertebral body, that is anterior longitudinal ligament, and posterior to the vertebral body, this is posterior longitudinal ligament. And these ligaments helps to provide stability to the vertebra. So, what is prolapsed intervertebral disc? It is protrusion or extrusion of nucleus pulposus through the annulus fibrosus. If there is any defect in annulus fibrosus, then this leads to the disc prolapse. So, prolapsed intervertebral disc is not a single day phenomenon, but sequence of changes occurs in the disc which leads to its prolapse. So let's know what are the uh, changes that occurs in prolapsed intervertebral disc. First, there is a degenerate steep changes occur in the disc. What happens is the there is softening and fragmentation of the nucleus pulposus. At the same time, there is a degenerative changes occurring in the annulus fibrosus. If there is any defect or any degenerative changes or any injury occurs to the annulus fibrosus, then due to the constant pressure that is on the intervertebral disc, the disc gets prolapsed through the annulus fibrosus. Is the changes keep on taking place, the bulged or the protruded disc ultimately gets extruded from the annulus fibrosus. In this stage, the disc does not spontaneously reduces back to the parental disc, though it has contact with the parental disc, but it does not get back. And the extruded disc comes to lie under the posterior longitudinal ligament. But the posterior longitudinal ligament is not strong enough to hold or prevent the extruded disc from further prolapse. And ultimately, the prolapsed disc gets out of the posterior longitudinal ligament is a sequestrated fragment. In this stage, the disc has completely lost its contact with the parental disc. And like this way, the prolapse, disc prolapse occurs. Thank you.